talking about it all week. Uh, we are going to talk about this economic stimulus bill um, that really has been proposed over and over again for the last two weeks because uh, that's the thing that's good. Like this crisis is going to affect the economy one way or the other. And these decisions that this administration and this Senate and this House of Representatives is the, the congressional body that's in place now. The decisions that they make in the, over the course of the next few weeks, or, and including the past few weeks, is really going to determine uh, what the, the latter half of the year is going to be. And I mentioned that, you know, we have to remember that in, in last year around this time, um, around maybe January, February, Goldman Sachs was uh, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, Wells Fargo. They all called this. They all called this to happen. They all came out and said that in 2020, the economy is going to collapse. Now, um, I don't know if this is what they were anticipating. My guess would be uh, that it that it's not. And the reason I say that it's not is because before the complete collapse of, of, um, of the stock market, before there was a crash in the stock market, they bailed them out. $1.5 trillion immediately bailed out, right? Um, that was before anything happened. So I think that was in order to levy them up and hope that this crisis would, would kind of blow over and they would be fine. With uh, with the 1.5 trillion, I think, and I think it went up to 2.2, and I think it just keeps going up more and more, right? The corporate bailouts just keep going up more and more, and uh, so then they realize that oh shit, no one's buying into this economy, no one's buying into this. They, they don't have faith in rich people anymore because rich people aren't helping, and that's what the economy is run on. The economy is run on faith and the popularity of rich people. That's what the stock market is. That's what Wall Street is. So we've been discussing how to help regular, average Americans. And, and none of this, to me, is, is a massive surprise. I was just waiting to see whether this was going to be the moment um, that the ruling elites got their head out of their ass and was like, hmm, if we want to prevent some kind of, 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 of a crash and a revolution, we should probably flip the way that we've been doing things. We should give less to corporations because here's the thing, corporate heads, CEOs, CFOs, whatever, the people that are kind of in charge of, um, of the, you know, of the markets and stuff, um, they are going to be fine financially speaking for sure the people in the boards the higher ups of all these corporations they're gonna be fine they're gonna be fine they're not gonna worry about i mean they don't have to worry about what next month's rent is gonna look like that's chump change to them you know they make billions of dollars hundreds and billions of dollars you think jeff bezos is is concerned about you know fucking where where his next meal is gonna come from or how his kids are gonna be fed no so why do we need to bail these people out? Why is Jeff Bezos asking for fucking donations when a fraction of his income can help the entirety of his company? Every single worker in his company can be taken care of. Because greed changes the, 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 the I think it probably changes the biochemistry of your brain and makes you a lot more callous of an individual. But Bezos is going to be fine. The airline industry CEOs are going to be fine. None of these people are scared or concerned about where where they're going to, you know, how they're going to take care of their families, how they're going to feed themselves, how they're going to pay for their their cars, their, their, their student loans, their rent, their mortgages, you know. So, the economic stimulus bill, um, there's still some things that seem to be unclear about this thing. But there's a couple things that have popped up over the last couple days. Um, Truth Out basically talked about the fact that the U.S. Treasury right now has $500 billion uh, that it can allocate and give to whomever, who, whomsoever it feels like giving it away to. Whoever they deem is worthy of this $500 billion, half a trillion uh, stimulus bill, stimulus amount. Um, 
whoever they de they have declared is the worthy uh, individual will will get this stimulus bill. Uh, the real question is: Is it going to be American citizens of the working class? Uh, it, the evidence and patterns would dictate: uh, Fuck no. It's never been us. It's never been the common working class man. You know, like w the people that 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 fucking bust their ass on a uh, on a daily basis, the people that are on the front lines, the 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 retail workers that had to deal with hordes of dick bags, you know, running through and, and stealing all the fucking toilet paper and and hoarding it for themselves and claiming, well, this is my freedom. This is my right. I'm allowed to take as much as I want. Well, I think maybe freedom is impeding is is an impediment to logic and compassion at this point. Um, but that's, it's not going to be us. It's not going to be them. It's not going to be people on the front lines. It's not going to be people that actually need this, uh, to help them out. It's not, it's not this, this could be an opportunity for the U S treasury department to take that $500 billion and allocate it into the checks that they want to send us the direct checks that they want to send the American people. Um, it, it could be a, a real way to stimulate, uh, the American people and get them back on your side. It, it, I mean, it would definitely be a political move for sure, but you could take that and, and make that happen, but they won't because they need to push that trickle down ideology because that's how you keep debt peonage. That's how you keep debt slavery. That's how you make sure that the American worker stays scared and under your thumb, under your rule. Um, so that they don't seize the means of their own production. It's, it's, I mean, that's, that's why they won't do it, and that's why they will continue to push that trickle-down philosophy because trickle-down kind of, uh, well, it doesn't kind of, it does push those ideas. It does push the ideas that you are not in charge of the means of your production, period. Um... So one of the things during the press conference yesterday with Trump, and I don't, you, you guys, I, I, I don't really talk a whole lot about making fun of Trump or anything, even in my stand-up, like I, I kind of steer away from it because it's one, it's, it becomes easy, easy jokes. For two, it's just, he's a symptom of a much larger disease. So I just don't go after him as much on a, on a personal level. I'd rather go after the system that created Trump. Uh, but this was something that was kind of interesting, though, is they said that Trump hotels can't get the bailout, right? They can't be bailed out by this thing, that uh, Trump hotels are not eligible for it, uh, so they won't, they won't get, the, uh, get the bailout. So his answer wasn't really an answer. It was very wishy-washy and um, a lot of, like, runarounds where he, he would get close to the truth of what he actually wanted to say, and then he would pull back. Like, he realized that he's going to say, well, of course my company's going to get, well, but, and then he would, like, pull back, you know? It was kind of interesting to watch, uh, because if you watch it closely, just in that one minute, you can see the gears and the loops that you have to make and how, like, you weave this web of lies, right? And how complex it needs to get in your head and how exhausting, really, it is. Um... So the thing with Trump, too, is they asked if he is consulting with past presidents, uh, because in, in times of crisis and times of disaster, a lot of presidents have gone back to their uh, predecessors and been like, hey, what do you guys think we should do? Um, his thing was basically look at how bad H1N1 was treated, look at how bad uh, Katrina was handled and, you know, some of those things might be true. I think Katrina wasn't handled very well, and there was a lot of uh, bureaucratic stuff that got in the way of um, of really helping people. But he was basically like, look at my approval ratings. My approval ratings are fucking amazing. They're the best approval ratings of anybody ever that anybody's ever seen. Uh, and And then he brought up his salary, right? He brought up that he has not taken his $400,000 salary. And, uh, and he was like, nobody, nobody said thank you. Nobody, nobody fucking gave, gave me a pat on the back, right? Which is just like, that, that shows me that he's still that fucking little chubby kid in New Jersey 
that just wants the approval of his parents to be like, good job, Donnie. You did a really great job, right? Like he's still buying, like it's all about approval ratings because that's what he's seeking. He doesn't care about the American people. He doesn't care about doing the right thing for an altruistic reason. He, he wants to do the right thing so that people will think that he's amazing and great because he's still that same chubby little kid from fucking New Jersey that wants daddy to fucking love him. That's what Donald Trump is. And you can see it right here. He's talking about approval ratings. He's talking about people thanking him for not taking his $400,000 a year salary. But the question is, where is that $1.6 million going? Over the course of four years, you make $1.6 million. And where is that going? Where have you reallocated your, your salary to? Nobody fucking knows. Nobody fucking knows. That answer is, has, not, has not been given to us, and, and this is the same problem with the stimulus bill, right? Where is that half a trillion dollar, half a trillion dollar stimulus that the Department of Treasury got, where is it going? Where is it going to go? Five, five, we do math on the, I've been doing math a lot uh, on, on, these, on these videos. But let's let's do the math, right? Five hundred. I don't even know if it'll get me to that. I think we are at five hundred million. No, I can only get up to. Uh, I can only get up to five hundred million. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me unlock my screen. We'll do the math. Okay. Okay. I'm at five hundred. I think I'm at five hundred trillion. Yeah, divided by, let's say, 200,000 people. That's like $2.5 million. <laughs> if you reallocated that to every American adult, we'd all get $2.5 million on top of the 1200 that they want to throw at us, which is still way less than how much money they would fucking spend uh, on, on, on their fucking corporate stimulus the gifts that they're giving corporate America. I might, I might not have the math particularly accurate, by the way, but it's a significant amount of money. To every American citizen adult, that would, that would change everything. But he doesn't really care. Trump, Trump doesn't really care. I mean, even that $1.6 million, let's say he reallocated all of that $1.6 million um, into, into some kind of a, a stimulus um, for the American people. Um, you divide that by 200,000. I mean, that's 80, 800 bucks per person, I think, is, is sort of what it comes down to. It's still something. You know, it's still a little bit of extra money that you could give us. Base, I mean, you're, you're you're bragging about not have not giving your your fucking say, like you're bragging about giving your salary away. But he's a narcissist. That's what he cares about. He cares about his approval. He cares about how many people love him, and that's that's really what this focus is. But the, but right now, you know, his focus is on how many people love him. Um, Congress's focus is on this four trillion dollar corporate slush fund that they just created. Four trillion, four trillion, four trillion dollar corporate slush fund to bail out banks and corporations whose CEOs don't need this money. Who, when you when you give them that money, they are not going to flood that back into their into their working class. They're not. They because corporations can get can, can do whatever the fuck they want with that money. You give it to the corporation in good faith. That they're gonna they're gonna trickle it down, and they never fucking do, they never fucking do, you know they just don't. That's not that's not how they operate. Meanwhile, we're giving twelve hundred dollars to the American workers, uh, which can take up to four months, four weeks to four months, something along those lines, um, unless you give your banking information to the IRS. Unless they have your banking information, then they can make deposits right away and. I don't think anybody wants the IRS to have their banking information. Like I would rather, I would give my banking information to some distant prince in Nigeria first before I decide to give my banking information to the IRS. <laughs>
we have to make we have to wait possibly four months for this um, for this check to come in, and uh, corporate America just fucking got the money. No waiting period, no lines. They just it's just in there. Here you go. There it is. Just do whatever you want with it now. There's no increase to SNAP benefits or COVID treatments. Really? There's people that are that are depending on school lunches, free school lunches right now to feed their kids, and you can't increase SNAP benefits for these families. Really? That's insane. That is, and and then you're and then you're gonna sit there and worry. Well, why don't people like us? Why don't people have faith in the government? Why are young people not wanting to vote? Here's what we need to do. I think if we want to get through this without a depression, I'm not talking about a recession. I'm talking about a total economic depression. Uh, What we need to do is go and look at Bernie Sanders' plan point by point and then fucking implement it. Just put that into place. It's $2,000 a month for every American citizen. uh, And... uh, you know, maybe a little. I think it's a little bit more for families, if I remember correctly. Um, you you in, increase uh, the the budget for public medic, medical care. You use the Army Corps of Engineers and National Guard to set up massive field hospitals to and run tests for free. You uh, basically bolster the medical industry from there. Uh, corporations don't matter, and then you put an oversight committee to make sure that if there is any sort of a vaccine, any sort of medication that comes out to taper this thing um, that the pharmaceutical industry and the health insurance companies don't try to turn a profit during a time of a global pandemic. That's what we need to do to actually help the American people. That's what we have to go towards. The way that they are operating it now uh, I think will will further populism. Will further push people into into uh, a more populist territory. And if that's not what you want, look, I don't give a shit. I mean, that's fine with me, <laughs> right? Like, I, su- I I support most of the popular, like the left wing populists are are who I support anyway. Because I think we need a government that's actually run by the people. We need a government that's actually going to do what a government's supposed to do, which is take care of its citizens. In any circumstance, whether it's an emergency situation or not emergency situation, I think it should be the American working class and the American citizens that are taken care of first over corporations, and that's not what we have in our system right now. But this will lead into more for, um, further populism, either right wing or left wing, one way or the other. You're going to polarize the country even more. Why did a lot a lot of people veer away from somebody like Barack Obama is because they fucking lost their house under his administration because he decided to bail out the bank. He decided to use quantitative easing to put more money into a banking industry that had that had outright cheated, outright cheated the American working class. People lost their houses. The fucking economy collapsed. The only way we get through this is if you flip the way that you're doing things rather than than having a corporate slush fund we have a uh we have a working class slush fund you 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 prop up the working class people i'm not saying write a check for 2.5 million dollars to the american citizen but that 2.5 million dollars per person could easily be we don't know how long this is going to be, and until we do, we're going to give you $2,000 a month starting on April 1st, and we're going to include a three-week um, you know, uh, adjustment to the, the work that people have probably lost anyway till we can figure out how to make this thing work. If you do that, I guarantee you a lot of people will start having more faith in... Um, in, in, in the government structure. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. 
Um, I'm gonna be making daily videos, so make sure you come back to this channel, make sure that you are subscribed, you hit that bell so you're getting the notifications, uh, because we are gonna be putting up videos every single day, uh, keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world, keeping our critical thinking skills uh, up to date as well, uh, talking about some interesting ideas, talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to um, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, do, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com slash donate. There you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons, Patreon, Bandcamp, and even PayPal, uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing, and that's if you have the means to do it. I understand that we're all struggling through this time, uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free, and like I said, will be up every single day. And a huge way that you can help uh, is by sharing these out. Uh, hit it, hit it up on your social feeds, on on the on the Twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the Instagrams and the Facebooks. Just share it around. Tell it, tell as many people as you possibly can, uh, especially if you enjoy. Uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel. And once again, make sure that you are subscribed, you hit that like button, um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I, I, and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um, or has donated, uh, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot. And it helps every little tiny bit helps in, uh, in, 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 the, in this time of of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.